In this set of videos, we're going to be looking at pressure, forces, and moments on a submerged horizontally symmetric plate. The key part is that we're limiting ourselves to horizontally symmetric plates. This is standard. And horizontally symmetric allows us to reduce our integrals to single integrals, and in fact, use formulas when we get tired of integrating. So what do we mean? Here's an example. Our plate here is this retaining wall. And what are the properties of this wall? Number one, it's vertical. There's the angle with the horizon is 90 degrees. It's a level rectangle. That means that it's level with the horizon. And it's horizontally symmetric because it's a rectangle. So that here is our line of symmetry. And at every part along this this horizontal, we have the same amount at the left as we do at the right. And this particular plate starts at the liquid surface and goes down. So we have atmospheric pressure here at the top and atmospheric pressure here on the wall. But even if our wall was a mountain, on the other side of the mountain there's atmospheric pressure. So there's atmospheric pressure on the open sides that allows us to use gauge pressure and not absolute. Another example, we have here a tank, and the plate is a gate on the tank. This gate here is what we're going to be looking at. What are its properties? Again, it's vertical, so it's the angle with the horizon is 90 degrees. It's a level isosceles triangle. Level means that the base is parallel to the horizon, and here is our axis of symmetry. And at every point on this level, we have the same amount of gate on the left side as we do on the right side. That's the idea of this horizontally symmetric plate. This particular plate starts below the liquid surface, so we have to go down this level here. And again, atmospheric pressure on the open sides. One more, we have this plate here. So the plate is a gate on this tank. However, now the plate is inclined. This has an angle with the horizon but the plate is itself is still a level rectangle. So if this is the horizon, our gate is level with the horizon. It's horizontally level. And again, it's symmetric, it's a rectangle. So at every point along this horizon, we have the same amount of plate at the left as to the right. This again starts below the liquid surface. We're gonna have to work with the angle and with the depth. And again, we have atmospheric pressure on all the open sides. So this is the kind of situations we're going to be looking at. The most important part is that the shape itself, here a rectangle, here an isosceles triangle, here again a rectangle, is horizontally symmetric. So at every point with respect to the horizon, we have the same amount of plate on the left side as on the right side. Same amount left, same amount right. Same amount left, same amount right. That's what we're going to be looking at. Pressures, forces, and moments on these plates.